Well, hey guys, Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango, W3CT, your good old friend Jack, back at you once again with my ham radio journey. Guys, today we're going to talk, I'm sure the title and the thumbnail always gives it away, but we're going to talk today a little bit about rag chewing and basically rag chewing on CW. Is it dead? I don't know. Let's talk about it right after this. Okay, guys, so not long ago, I put out a video, and I mentioned something about having a rag chew uh, on that video, and I, I looked back through my videos for it, and I couldn't find it, but what I was looking for is to see if I did a video such as this. I've been thinking about this video for quite some time because of the comment that I received on that particular video. The comment went like this. I don't remember who sent it, but it basically just said, CW rag chewing is dead. It's all about signal report and, uh, you know, uh, signal report and exchange, number, confirmation, state like POTA or whatever. And I rebuttaled against that because it wasn't a bad comment. It was just the person's feeling that CW rag chewing is absolutely dead. Nobody does it anymore. Uh, it's a lost art. You know, being that I'm only a CW guy. I don't really do SSB. I mean, every time I go to sideband, I'm not knocking it. I know it, it holds a great place uh, in ham radio. But every time I go there, it's like I can't really, I, I can't really get into it a whole lot, you know, sideband. I mean, sideband's great. I did a pod activation once with sideband. Used to talk on sideband all the time. Now, even back in my CB radio days, I used uh, upper sideband, lower sideband to do DX. But in today's world, I just don't do sideband. So people say, well, CW is dead because now there's the great digital mode, FT8 and FT4, and some of those other different digital modes. Guys, I'm a computer guy. The last thing I want to do is come home and get on a computer to play with my ham radio. It's not going to happen. So I do revert back to CW. Now, why am I saying this? Because the only way I can get enjoyment out of CW, well, there's quite a few ways. One is I do POTA activations. You guys know that. You've seen me in the park. You've seen me setting up, um, you know, and that is one of my loves. I love doing portable operations in the park, and I love using CW. The second thing I love to do, I guess, with CW is contests. I like working contests. I have a blast, especially the SST contest, uh, the MST. Now, they're only an hour long, so you get in and, and you get out, you know, for an hour. But I've worked the worldwide CW contests. I do enjoy that. I think that helps you increase your CW speed. But what I also really like to do, and I hold it near and dear to my heart, is rag chewing. Uh, I had a great conversation this morning, and what I'm going to do here right now is we're going to go ahead, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to play you a clip that I took this morning. I, I thought once I was talking to this gentleman, because we talked for 25 minutes. Now, anybody that does CW should know that 25 minutes is a very long QSO on CW. We got way past, you know, the uh, the name, the state. Uh, you know, your call sign, the name, the state. Uh, then the normal stuff is your rig, your antenna, and your power. And then we just kept going. The gentleman was actually uh, 82 years old. We talked a little bit about him, uh, you know, losing all of his friends. His friends have been dying off. And now he kind of just has the radio to communicate. So the longer he talked like that, the more I started thinking about you know, when I get to that age, well, I want to keep tapping on the key. Yeah, you will, because it's just like me talking to you here now. He doesn't really have anybody else around to, to talk to, right, other than his CW people, that, and I just happen to be one today. It gets even more interesting. We started talking, or he started talking a little bit about his garden, about putting tomatoes in and getting his, uh, you know, uh, his garden prepared for the summertime, and, and he loves to do gardening. 
You know, we talked about two seconds about the weather. Now, he didn't just say it was rainy. It was rainy. It was overcast. Uh, he gave me a description of the weather. So a 25-minute CW conversation is not like, you know, this video. Think about this video being 25 minutes long. You'd probably click off and be bored. I don't want to bore you. I'm just going to say that CW rag chewing is what you make it. You can make it a short conversation. I've talked to uh, DX stations, and you know they send you know they want a five nine nine or five eight nine. How am I doing? Uh, give them your state, and they're gone. Okay, so that's not really a rag chew. Uh, you know, to me, a rag chew is anything that you start talking once you get to the rig and you start talking about your radio and your antenna. Now you're in a rag chew. You're in communication. So let's go ahead right now. I'm going to put this video in here, and when I come back. I want to just briefly show you my logbook, and we're going to look at just how many rag chews that I actually do. So go ahead, sit back, relax, try to copy some of this. We're not talking real fast. I think we were talking about 15 words. No, we're talking about 18 words a minute this morning. So sit back, relax, try to copy some of this code. It's very interesting. Listen to him sending. Uh, you know, it, it was just a great conversation. So let's go ahead and listen to that now.
Okay, guys, I hope you used that for some, uh, some copy practice. Uh, and you can see even some of my sending, you're going to make mistakes. If you make a mistake, I'm not one of those guys that did it, did it, did it, because when you're copying that message you up, right? Skip the letter and move on. Okay, just keep going. So uh, sometimes you're going to misspell something because your fingers aren't working with your brain. You're thinking, you know, you're thinking of a word in your head. And when you get that wordy on a CW rag chew, you start using words that you've never used before. You know, you know the word in your head, but you've never actually sent it on CW. But it was a great conversation. Uh, I had a really nice time chatting to this gentleman this morning. Uh, you know, so it was more than a log contact. It was more of a um, two friends getting together, just like we're doing now, and we're talking. So my sister said this morning to me, we was in the car going somewhere. She goes, well, it would have been nice if you talked to the guy. Well, to me and you, or to a CW op, using the Morse code pad or using a straight key or however you're sending code, that is communication. Just like if you would learn Spanish, if you learn French, if you learn German, if you know, maybe if you're in German, you're learning English. It's, it's our language. So I was talking and it, the words become fluent in your head as you're working somebody and communicating that it becomes that person less than dots and dashes. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to spin around. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and look at my logbook. Okay. All right. So here is my logbook. All right. So as you can see here, let me see if I have it. The gentleman's name was Dan. Here's Dan's call right here. And you can see this morning it was uh, at 10.58. That's UTC time. We were on 40 meters, and uh, it was NI9Y, NI9Y. But what I wanted to show you here more than anything, now this is using, I'm using RUM log. It doesn't really matter what logging program you're using. That's not the point of this conversation. The point of this conversation is rag chewing dead. That's what we're talking about. So. I'm going to go down here to my notes filter, and I'm going to filter out, because when I talk to someone, I rag chew, I put it in as rag chew. You can see them right here. So let's go down here and filter on notes, and I'm just going to type in rag. Now, if I did that, it's going to show you over here the amount of conversations in my logbook that I actually was rag chewing. That says one. I don't know why it says one something selected there, but anyway. Let's see. I don't think we can select them all. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, well, yeah. So it's showing 147 rag chews. 147. Also, when I rag chew, I always look to see if they have a QSL information that I can send a QSL card. Because I like to talk a little bit more uh, when you send something to somebody. And, you know, I like to put a little note on the back of my QSL cards. Those are the main people I look to send a QSL card to if I have a rag chew. I do not send QSL cards to all my POTA contacts or to uh, contests. Uh, that would be silly, right? There's too many to send. But as you can see here, uh, rag chew DX Canada the other day. Uh, that was fun. Uh, rag chew in Italy. Uh, that was very uh, unique because usually DX stations don't want to sit around and talk. They just want to, uh, you know, signal report and go. But uh, that was on uh, April 12th. Um, there's a rag chew and a SKCC number together. So let's see here anymore. Uh, there's a lot of them in here, but you get the idea. So there's a lot of rag chewing going on in my logbook. All right. I just wanted to show you a little bit of that on the uh, on um, my my logbook, right? My rum log. So. There you go. Uh, so, all right. So, is rag chewing dead? No. Do you find young people rag chewing? Yes. I found one the other night because what I do as I'm talking to the person or right after, I like to go into QRZ. Right, QRZ.com. I used to. I like to bring up your web page. 
So I noticed that really, really, really veteran operators don't usually have much on there. Younger people tend to have more stuff on there. By younger, I mean anybody under the age of 70 that can type on a web page. They usually have something there. If you're over 80, a lot of people don't have much on QRZ. But I do that because it allows us to make that more personal connection. Like, I, I know then that you might, like, uh, the guy this morning, uh, one guy I talked to earlier this morning liked uh, hiking, biking, uh, kayaking. There's more information on your QRZ page than what you would normally put across with a key. So the big thing I, I'm saying, guys, is rag chewing is not dead by far. Rag chewing CW, and, and I know there's rag chewing SSB, so I, I've heard some of that. I've tuned around the bands, and I hear people talking about, like, yeah, yesterday afternoon I went and got some medicine, and, and you know, I was down, I got some Ben Gay from my knees, and... Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, I took the car down to get an oil change last week. That may or may not be the conversation you're going to have on CW. And that's okay on Sideband. We can just sit with the microphone and chit-chat all we want. You could do it on CW. And why did I want to talk about this topic? If you're younger CW ops, and I know there's a lot of you out there, sit down, call CQ, and just have a conversation with somebody. If nothing else, and I know a lot of you are very good at CW Ops because I watch a lot of people's videos, uh, I see a lot of people out there doing, uh, you know, and I listen to them on the radio, and they're excellent CW operators. But there's a big difference in, you know, uh, W3CT, uh, 599, 599PA. There's a big difference in that. Then tell me about your tomato plants, uh, how your lettuce is doing. Uh, that you're lonely, you know, uh, that, you know, uh, this gentleman this morning was telling me all kinds of stuff, uh, that he retired. So, it's a big difference than a signal report. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't one of my uh, long cut videos, but I just wanted to get this information out there. I want you to try to rag chew. And if you hear me calling, by all means, please answer and say hello and let's have a chat. You can always turn your key speed down and I'll key down to match anybody out there so we can have a nice conversation. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Thanks everybody out there that's been subscribing to the videos. I really appreciate that. And if you like this video, smash that subscribe button. Give it a big thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And if you have any uh, comments, I would love to hear about them below, especially if you do, if you rag chew or if you don't rag chew or don't believe in it or you think it's dead, tell me why. Don't just say rag chew is dead. You're stupid. Don't say that, right? Say something, uh, constructive criticism. Why do you think it's not alive anymore? Take care, everybody, and I hope to talk to you next time. This is Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango, W3CT, your good old friend Jack, and this is my ham radio journey. Guys, thank you so much for coming along with the journey and following along with the videos. I will talk to you next time. Take care. 73s. Hope to catch you on the airways. Bye for now, everybody.